The second common scenario for this PSI ratio is transferring from one side to another. Okay, that means uh, from one side of the ratio, I want to transfer a certain amount to another side. Okay, in other words, one side will decrease while other side will increase. Okay, so in this question, uh, Don and Eileen have money in the ratio 4 is to 9. And after Eileen gave Don a $145, both had equal amount of money. Okay, that means at the start, the ratio is 4 is to 9. But after Eileen gave Don 145, right, that means this give 145 over to Don. Then they are they have an equal amount of money in the end. Okay, so we need to find uh how much money did uh don't have at first. Okay, so uh we can draw we can do this a before after model. Okay, so before don is to Elin is four is to nine. Okay, then after. Okay, when you see this sort of question where you want to transfer. Amount from one side to another, you need to find the total. Okay, the reason is because when you transfer from one side to another side, the total remains the same. Okay, because when one side decreases by the amount, the other side also increases by the same amount, right? So that's why the total remains the same. Okay, so in this case, you take 4 plus 9, so the, the total is uh, 13 units. Okay. And then uh, after, the total should also remain as 13 units. Okay, make sense? Right, because the total should have to remain the same. And we also know that after Eileen had transferred on, both have equal amount of money, right? So you must take 13 divided by 2 to find the number of units for each side. So you'll get 6.5 and 6.5. Okay? But of course, we know that uh, in a ratio, we shouldn't deal with a uh, we shouldn't deal with a uh, of a decimal. So we have to times two to every term over here. All right. So your times two becomes a uh, thirteen. Here times two is a uh, thirteen, and here times two is twenty six. Okay. Okay. But when you here times two, the here also need times two, right? The before model. All right. So because I want to make this number and this number here the same. Okay, so when here times 2, I'll get uh, 8 is to 18 is to 26. Alright, so keep in mind that this number over here must be the same as this number over here. Okay, so after we have done that, we can simply find how many units have moved over, right? So we can see that for Don, he has increased by 5 units, right? 13 minus 8 is 5. Okay, Dawn has increased by 5 units. But for Eileen, she has decreased by 5 units also, right? 18 minus 13 is 5 units. Once again, this makes perfect sense, right? Because remember, Eileen gave Dawn one for $5. So if Eileen minus 5 units, this 5 unit must give over the Dawn, right? So that's why this Dawn has an addition of 5 units. Understand? So therefore, this five units is the amount transfer which is one for five dollar okay so five units is equals to 145 okay so to find one unit you simply take 145 divided by five all right which is uh 29 dollar okay and our job is to find dawn right at first so dawn at first is uh, eight units okay be careful not to take this number over here because this is the after, right? So for eight units, you simply take twenty nine times eight, and so the answer will be two three two. Okay, so this is the answer for Don at first. Okay, so once again, when you meet this sort of question, when you want to transfer an amount from one side to another side, okay, keep in mind that the total, right, for the before and after must be the same. Okay, this is a very very important strategy when you attempt this sort of question.